Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slack Cal mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yoyo and together we're gonna make your slides amusing. This week's video is going to be a short one. I'm going to teach you how to properly add a draft watermark or any text-based watermark for that matter to your PowerPoint slides. The end result should look something like this. Let's get started. What you should not do. This is a mistake that I see PowerPoint users do all too often and it needs to stop. This means that if you are doing what I'm about to do right now, stop it. I'm gonna teach you a better technique later. But this is what most people do right now. They go to insert, they click on the text box over here, they draw the text box like this, they type in something like draft, they make a big sort of, you know, text size, maybe even change the font to something more bold. Just keep increasing the text here, make it huge, as big as possible, just like that. Maybe center it, like this, like that, right? Copy, paste. Do you see the problem right there, guys? Even if you were to change the color to something more light, even if it was, you know, a gray, or even if it was a red, it, it's, do you see the problem? You can't read your slide. You can't see anything behind that big draft logo. It's huge, and it just doesn't make any sense why anyone would do it. And yeah, maybe you put the draft uh, sort of text box right over this area, but still, it, it doesn't make sense for you to do that. You want something that people can instantly recognize as a draft, but the, you also want something to do your slides justice. Like, I mean, look at this. If I was to do the same thing in this slide over here, how am I supposed to read the text there? That doesn't make any sense. How am I supposed to read the text here either? That doesn't make any sense. You might be saying, all right, but hold on, Yo-Yo, hold on. What if I was to sort of right click that and click on send to back? Yeah, well, that doesn't do much either because as you can see clearly over there, it contradicts with the entire slide. And although you can read the text and although you can see the slide, you won't be able to sort of process it. Does that make sense? It looks, it looks distracting. You want something subtle, right? You want something easy and you want something that you can replicate for all your slides, right? So stop doing this technique. I'm going to delete these guys and we're gonna jump into the second step. In fact, I'm gonna start it from scratch starting now. What you should do. All right guys, so this is what you should be doing. First things first, go to insert, click on shapes, and then click on any sort of shape you want. I advise a rectangle. Draw out a rectangle that takes up your entire slide like this. Make sure it doesn't have an outline. Second thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to insert, click on text box, and then draw out the text box anywhere you want, right? We can fix that up later. And just type in whatever you want. So I'm just gonna go for draft, similar to the first example that we had. Should make, let's make this all caps. Center it, change the font, and let's just increase that size all the way through. Something like this. Fix that up a bit. Centered, so. All right, that doesn't matter. So what we're going to do now is we're just gonna click on the box at the back, right? We're gonna click on the text box. We're gonna go to format, merge shapes, and then we're gonna click on intersect right there. Click that and there you have it. So just, you know, an explanation. This is no longer a text box. If you type there, nothing will change. In fact, text will actually be in the center right over, right over here as you guys can see. This is not a text box anymore, guys. Instead, what this is, is a shape, right? It's, a, it's recognized as a shape in PowerPoint, meaning that you can change its color, meaning that you can also add an outline if you'd like, meaning that you want to increase, you know, sorry, decrease the width, or maybe increase the height, or do whatever you want, you can do that. It's completely editable, 100% editable. And that is the key takeaway here. You want something editable for your watermarks, right? So when you're done with that, Let's just say, you know, I want this sort of draft uh, text box here. In fact, I'm gonna increase the size a bit. Maybe put it in the middle, just like this, center. Maybe even rotate it like that, you know, just, just for fun, just like this, right? So now that we're done with that, I'm just gonna copy it and paste it here. 
All right, so you might be saying, hold on a second, you hold on there, right? You just told us not to do that. So what are you doing? Well, hold on there, ladies and gentlemen. Just, you know, let's, let's, let's calm down a bit and let's expand. Let's, let's explore, right? What you want to do is you want to go to format. You want to go to shape fill. You want to go to more fill colors and there is your key. You can change the transparency to whatever you'd like. So let's say that I'm in the mood for a 95% transparency. Boom, right? You can still tell that it's a watermark and you can still see everything on your slide. So you can signify that this slide is indeed a draft, right? And the, the user or whoever you want to send this deck to can instantly tell, all right, this makes sense. It's a draft and I can see everything I want. If you feel that, you know, you want to have your watermark a little bit stronger, you can change the transparency to 80% and there you go. If you were to apply that to here, you'd still be able to read the text and they know it's a draft. If you were to apply that here, same thing, no difference, right? So this is the key takeaway, ladies and gentlemen. The fact that you can change this into a shape and then add transparency protocols to it will make it much more better and much more easier in the long run. And hey, don't even stop there, right? So let's just delete this for now. Delete this maybe and delete this as well. If we were to head over here, let's just fix that up. Make it smaller, maybe like that. And let's get going. So if I was to duplicate this and just keep duplicating it all the way like that, maybe group it up, put it in the center like this. And I was to do the same thing four more times above. So something like that, align, distribute vertically, you know, make it like this. So I just completely took over the slide there. So if I was to do that, arrange it however I'd like, so distribute it vertically like this, right? And then possibly, oops, group that up, turn it like this. Make sure we captured the entire slide there. As you can see in our little slide preview, that's the sort of effect that we're going for to make it easier for everybody. We're gonna delete this and make a blank slide. Put in a shape just like that, right? And then we're gonna ungroup everything. We're gonna highlight everything. We're gonna go to Format, Merge Shapes Union. So it's all just one shape now, just like this. We're gonna copy this. We're gonna click here, paste it, just like that. Oops, why is the C there? Anyway, paste it just like that. Send it to back, click on this, Format, Merge Shapes, and then just go to something like, I don't know, intersect right there. Boom, done. So you can do the same thing here, change it to let's say like 90% transparency. There you go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. So you can start applying that to every single slide that you have and they would instantly know it's a draft. Again, if you're not happy with how sort of the color clashes or something, you can instantly just click on the shape again change the color to let's say black or whatever, and there you go. They instantly know to drop, you have a watermark, you are set. And that is the right way to do things, guys. Again, just another PowerPoint tip. I know that you guys are gonna use this, especially the guys in the consulting industry. I know you guys use this a lot. So I'm glad this helped you. If you think it helped you a lot, please do consider liking this page and please do share this video with your colleagues, with your friends, with your mother-in-law. I don't care, just share this video and give it all you got. All right, guys. I will see you in the next week. This is Yo-Yo signing off. Bye-bye.